Hi, I'm Phil from Woodsmith with another cool tip for how to get more from your Craig track saw. Now we all use the track saw for cutting plywood pieces down to size for project parts on our next great home improvement adventure. But you can also use the track saw to do something a little more unconventional. That's to create openings or cutouts in your pieces. Now I'll need to make those cutouts for access for plumbing or wires and cords or proper ventilation in cabinets. And you can see that I've already laid out the location of a cutout on this piece of plywood. Now what I've also done is used a drill to drill out the corners. That's going to give me a nice smooth transition as the cutout goes around those corners, but it's also going to help us when we're cutting it out too. The next thing we need to do is a little setup on the saw. So I'm going to put the saw in place here on the track and what I want to do is mark where the blade emerges from the saw and the bottom side of the track as well as where it goes back up above the track and into the saw. So I've taken some masking tape and a marker and marked that back edge and then here again on the strip at the front of the saw. I'll use those as I line up the track and the saw when I make the cuts. To get things started, what I'm gonna do is line up my track right on those layout lines so that the edge of the track is even with the edge of the holes that I drilled out. I can line up that line with the hole and then I can turn on the saw, plunge the blade down through the workpiece, slide the saw forward until that front indicator mark comes up with the hole on the opposite end. It's just a matter of turning off the saw, retracting the blade, and I have one cut. Then we'll just repeat the process three more times. All right, there you have it four relatively simple cuts, and we have a great looking opening in this plywood panel. There you can see how easy it is to use your Craig track saw to make openings that are easy, accurate, and safe.